Welcome and hello. This is Caffeine Zombies with Bite Size News. Today is July 11th, 2024, and we'll be going over Biden, the Supreme Court, Israel, bone density, and more. So let's get started. This election season is shaping up to be exciting, to say the least. So let's start on Biden. Pat Ryan came out of the woodwork today and called on Biden to get out while the getting is good. That made the eighth Democrat to do so, and then bam, right after number nine, Earl Blumenauer, tossed in his vote. This feels like a cascade, and some of his most ardent supporters can't even tell him to stay in. They're just saying, I want him to do whatever he decides to do, like Nancy Pelosi is quoted as having said on Morning Joe. And if all that won't work, George Clooney is throwing in his heavyweight celebrity status to tell Joe Biden, pull out. AOC was in the house as she called out Justice Thomas and Alito for taking bribes, excuse me, uh, really expensive gifts that they didn't allow to impede their judgment at all and only after receiving them just coincidentally ruled in their billionaire's gift-giving friend's favor. They didn't recuse themselves on cases they obviously should have and a few other terrible things, which most of is all in the public domain of information, so you can just kind of look them up right now. Uh, this was her introducing articles of impeachment, though. That's what stood out against these Supreme Court justices, which has only happened one time in U.S. history way back in 1804, which was successful in the House and failed in the Senate, allowing that justice to just keep on trucking. A similar result is likely here with the current House and Senate makeups, but at least it'll put on the record how many people are for bribing the Supreme Court justices instead of you know, actually doing justice. Israel is still attacking Gaza, of course, and Gaza City is next. The Israeli military has told people to evacuate Gaza City. Israel's cover story is that they are hunting Hamas soldiers that are regrouping in the city, but many assume that this is just a part of another additional pressure campaign to aid Israel in the upcoming ceasefire talks just a few weeks away. Palestinians, however, have been crammed together for months um, from months of bombing and offensives by the Israeli military. And the places for non-militants to evacuate too, who again are mostly women and children at this point, have mostly run out. Good news though, certain gut diseases may soon be a thing of the past, and by soon I mean many years from now. Scientists have successfully gene-edited the bacteria in mouse guts using CRISPR so that these edited bacteria kill bad bacteria and voila! Good science! Science is it freaking rules, man. In an ongoing attempt to defeat China's trade deficit with the U.S., meaning that China buys less goods from the U.S. than the U.S. buys from China to a tune of about $250 billion annually, the U.S. is extending tariffs. Great. Tariffs have never had a bad history at all. But tariffs do affect prices, generally, on, of those goods on U.S. citizens. The thought, though, is that companies will buy fewer goods from China because the tariffs make the products artificially high, making U.S. or other nation-made goods look more appealing. Trump tried this. It didn't work. A conservative Congress created laws prohibiting certain companies from using Chinese-made goods. That pretty much failed. And the Biden administra administration is looking to just extend the tariffs. Now, there is something new that Biden has done, which is actually managed to create computer chips and other essential technologies here in the U.S. That mixed with perhaps the tariffs might do something, but that could still be years away with in, in terms of kind of that pressure. And with having China having a lot more economic levers to pull, like human rights violations with their labor practices, we may be in a battle where even more new ideas need to keep happening. But for now, I guess we'll see. And another good news item, women, while breastfeeding, have an, a low level of estrogen in their system. Low levels of estrogen are connected to having weak bones. I know, where is the good part? Because that hormone that is what helps maintain bone strength. But breastfeeding women don't have this issue despite still having low estrogen. Women who are breastfeeding, I should say. But why? Because scientists have figured out that when a woman breast is breastfeeding, they release a hormone called CCN3, which fills in for estrogen with new mothers, helping to maintain bone density. Amazing! This discovery is potentially going to lead to therapeutics or other means by which scientists can understand this disease and maybe even help osteoporosis in the future, which has a whole bunch of peripheral diseases next to it. 
And let's end on a silly topic. CNN is getting rid of its television shows and focusing entirely upon digital mediums and streaming, which hasn't worked so well for CNN in the past. They have their closed CNN Plus and their not-so-watch-CNN Max. Anyhow, now they're going full-on digital subscribers route. The CEO has closed the doors in certain jobs, getting rid of 100 people in advance of a plan everyone says is vague. And that's its only compliment. Yeah, that's a winning strategy. Change gears with a vague understanding of what you'll do next. No wonder they are going down the tubes. Oh, maybe they should jump on a social media platform. Something with tube in the name. You know, what I'm trying to say here is like a kind of tube for you. If only such a thing existed.